Thank you for tuning in to another Race Grooves Track Time presentation. There are no boosters in this layout. All kicker loops and one gravity drop to start it out. I got two types of kicker loops. You can see these right here from the new 2016 Track Builder system. And then over there you can see red loops. Those are from previous releases. If you have spiral stack up, you see those green pieces in the middle. See those arms right there? Yeah, I'm using those arms. Look over here. I'm using them to support parts of my track to get it up, give me multiple levels so that I can make this wild setup. Hey guys, you know what I just noticed? Uh, I can use this to start on some of my, some of my, all my gravity drops. I could put this on the top and then have the car go straight down. I might, uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I think I'm going to borrow this, see how it works for this video. I just took the starting gate off of that spiral stack up. I'm going to put it right here. Use it to start my cars on their gravity drop. If you have the 2016 stunt kit, you probably recognize this piece right here. That's where I got it. I'm going to make a little loop, and this is what's nice about that set. Look, you got a pivot point. You can hook right in there, and then look, I got a uh, little crisscross intersection. Car's going to go up, come around, and be on their way. I picked 20 cars this time out of the case. So let's go ahead and open up a 74 Escort RS1600. All of the kicker loops are already set. Here we go. Oh, wipe out on the curb. I'm going to be using Bradbird to mark his spot. Hopefully he gets farther than that. Second chance. Oh, those silver curves. Mm, he needs a high-speed curve over there, but that's not what we have today. One more chance. Oh, well, he got a little better. There you go. I'm going to set you to the side so that you don't bump into other cars, or other cars don't bump into you. Now it's time for Bulletproof. I don't even have to reset any of the kickers because he didn't get to them. Oh, I got through two kicker loops. Let's go ahead and mark his spot right there. I'm going to reset these kickers, but after this, I'll be resetting them and not showing you every time. Same place. Let me see if I need to pinch my track. We're going to pinch it on this side and flare it on the outside. Let's try them again. Set, go. Hey, silly goose, it would help if you didn't have your bridges on top of the road. How'd that happen? Okay, come again. Woohoo! Bulletproof, first one in to the winner's circle. In the Hot Wheels basic cases, they have what's called treasure hunts. If you look right here, there's a circle flame logo right in the temple. So this was a treasure hunt for the A case. And then in the B case, they pick something else. These two right here, uh, they also have what's called super treasure hunts. They take a regular car and they give it a superized treatment. You can see it has a uh, Spectra Flying paint, rubber tires, and a lot of the times they put a TH, and there you can see a TH right there. Another thing they do to indicate uh, super treasure hunts or regular treasure hunts, they put that circle flame logo right there behind the model. Now, if that's missing, or if it doesn't have a TH on the car itself, that, that, that don't matter. What matters is the circle flame logo on a release from 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, and probably for 2017 as well. Let's go ahead and check out Rigstorm. He got stuck in the kicker loop. How'd he get backwards? I think he might have flipped around on the start gate because the cars are hanging up on that little starting thing I'm using. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. He's a track car. Woo. But he might not work well in the kicker loops because they're kicking the back. Oh, look. Look how high this is. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll try him backwards because he has he has a nice flat spot in the back for a kicker loop. Here comes Rick Storm backwards. No, oh, <laughs> he got caught again. Uh oh, he might not work well in the kicker loops. I got him through one. Let go, let go, let go. Out. Okay, I'm going to do him forwards again. Oh, oh, maybe we should give him another chance. He got all the way around here, so I'm going to give him a mark right there. Come back. One more chance. He did pretty good forwards. Oh, uh, you going to keep sliding? You're going to keep going? Look at him creeping, trying to get a little bit more, a little bit more. But we'll go ahead and give him another chance since he keeps going further. Say go. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Now we're going to do the Tesla Roadster. And yeah, we're going to do both. We're going to do the regular release and the super. They'll be coming up next, but how do you think the Super will do on this track? First up, the regular Tesla Roadster. Oh, so, he did so good. Let's go ahead and give his mark, try again. All four kicker loops are reset. Oh, yeah. That's three out of four cars making it already. Back it up, Buttercup. You're in the winner circle. And it's time for the super treasure hunt. Rubber tires. I don't know how good he's going to roll. Go, go. Redbird, help me out. We got to mark a spot over here. Yeah, he didn't roll too far because it's rubber tires. Second chance. Bonk. Again, again. Uh, same place. He's not going to make it to the kicker loop, but let's see how he does in a kicker loop. Not so good. There you go. Thank you for playing. We're going to do high roller next. He has open wheels. That's why I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to put him through a booster because look, there's no protection for the wheels. By the way, this came out of the international case. It's not going to say new for 2016. See like this one it says new for 2016. On the USA cards, we get that little info bubble. Uh, it's missing here, but it is a 2016 new model in the front, skinny wheels, metal base. Hmm, looks like the rest is plastic. Nice and shiny, though. Here comes High Roller. Another one. So you see with boosters... I don't like using cars with open wheels because look, the booster grabs the wheels and then those wheels can get all crooked. But now since this layout was all kicker loops, all the kicker loop does is hit them back here to give them a little push. I'm glad I, I'm glad I picked them for this track time. Up next, we have the custom 62 Chevy. Check it out. He has a nice surfboard. As a matter of fact, maybe you've seen this HW Flames 5-pack. has all flamed cars. Oh yeah, we like flames. We're going to be doing quite a few cars with flames today. Well, guess what? You see this car right here? You see this release of the custom 62 Chevy? He's got a surfboard in the back. Well, guess what? Casting change. Thanks to Robert for sharing this pic. As you can see, yeah, look, no more surfboard, and it has a sunroof. So if you're looking for the surfboard version, you're probably going to have to look for an older release. To be honest, he's kind of wide. I don't even know if he fits on the track. Let's take a look real quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look, he's got room. He's got wiggle room. Let's go ahead and get him in the gate. Get ready to go. Well, so far, his spot is right there next to the super. Uh-oh.
Second chance. I can hear him dragging when he came through the intersection. Does he fit in here? Yeah, he fits. Okay, try again. If he doesn't do better, he's going to be over there where Redbird's marking his spot. Oh, he falls out of the loop. That'll do it. You get to look pretty right next to the super. Mad splash. Yeah, you know what? I think it might work okay. I, he has a straight part in the back for the kicker loop. He does work in the boosters because he's got, he's got nice, smooth sides. But now he's going to get a, a kicker loop test. Here comes Mad Splash. Oh, he's got nice speed. Oh, wipes out in the curve. Ain't no hiding. I can see you. There you are. Okay, Redbird, mark his spot. Let's try again. I'm going to scoot him over so we can see him on the camera. Second chance. Oh, so close. <laughs> Wipeout. That's a pretty bad Beach Boys impression. Okay, Redbird, you get to mark a further spot now because he made it up and around this curve. He came around and then he landed like this. If he makes it further, that'll be a spot. Otherwise, this is it. Bonk. Let's go ahead and scoot you over. Where's Redbird? Where's Redbird? He was around here somewhere. There's your spot right there. But you did very good, so we'll put you face up. Okay, time for Speedbox. He's a track car. says right on the package, track stars. Now it's your chance. Speedbox, first chance. Wipes out in the vertical curve. We'll mark your spot right there. Second chance. Bonk. Sometimes when they come through this crisscross section, I don't know why, but sometimes when they come through, they might be on this side, and then right here, they kind of turn, and then they hit right there. Here he comes. That vertical curve is giving him a problem. Here you go, last chance. Ah, uh, kicker loop, my fault. He gets a do-over. Look at that. After so many fails, he makes it to the winner circle. I have a lot more cars to do coming up next. Now we're going to try street stealth. Yeah, it's a motorcycle, but that's what track time is. We try different models and see how they'll do on the track. I don't know if he'd work in the boosters. Looks kind of skinny, but uh, who knows? We'll see how he does on the gravity for the downhill. Maybe he'll make it through that one vertical curve. To go. Well, he just kind of slid on the side. Didn't even stay upright. I didn't mark his spot because it's easy to remember. Plop right there. Uh, okay, that's it. There you go. Thank you for playing. Here comes the Nissan 370Z. Nice model for those of you who like to collect the Nissans. Set, go. Woo, he's fast. Can he do it? Oh. Oh, he didn't hit the kicker loop hard enough. I did have the kicker loop set. Watch. See, it was set. He just didn't hit it hard enough, but he did a pretty good mark. Let's try him again. Oh, crisscross crash. Third time. Oh, same thing right in the intersection. I pinched the track right before the intersection. Maybe that'll help. Oh, kick or fail. This is it, last chance. I know you want to be next to the super, but your mark was way over here. Good job. Now let's do the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Has a low front end, 
Might not do well in the loops, but let's try them in that, uh, that elevated curve. Oh, not enough speed to hit the kicker. That was a little late. Mark your spot over here. Come, come here. Here he comes again. Same spot. This will do it. Last chance to improve. Well, at least he's consistent. Sixty-nine Dodge Charger. Ooh, look at those flames. What a beautiful piece. I have a couple of cars with flames today. Quite a few, actually. Go. Wipe out. Now, since the cars come in through this way, I pinched the track on the other side because you want to make it skinny on that side coming into here. They go up. Make sure this is flared out. This one's in, so we want to pinch this. Oh, yeah, look. Look how this was out right there. So he hit that, he nicked that edge. Let's get this inside. Try it again. Go. He doesn't like that intersection. Ooh, much better. Let's mark his spot right there. That's his mark. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, he clipped the intersection again. That gave him trouble, but he did make it all the way around to here. Nice job. Now it's time for the Batmobile. This is from the uh, Batman v Superman movie. I don't know how well they'll do in the boosters because he's got, uh, he has these indents on the side. Sometimes that, mess, that makes it hard to do in boosters. But, oh, not only that, look at this thing that sticks out right here. Kicker loops, I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh, that was pretty cool. I'm not sure how far up this hill he made it, so I'll put him right here. Now let's get our Batmobile. He's hiding back here. Might as well reset the kicker loop. There he is. Reset the kicker loop. Got to do these two. Second chance. I didn't say exactly, but this is the winner circle right here. So this is going to count. Awesome. How about the 67 Austin minivan? Mm, sure, why not? That's what track time is, trying different models on different tracks. Back to the intersection again. Look what happened. This track flared out. It's on the outside. I need this on the inside. Let's give him another first chance. Just like the 70 Ford Escort RS1600 has a metal body, kind of higher profile to the track. And when he hits that curve, causes him to fly over in the curve. He really didn't make it this far because he came off the track over there. But I'll put it there for now. Second chance. Same thing. Higher center of gravity. There you go. We'll just put you right there. We're going to take a look at the Custom 72 Love. Now here's the international package. Here was the USA package. As you can see, same car, same packaging. Uh, up here, though, the U.S., we get the new for 2016 uh, stamp on the card or printing. But this car had a variation. I don't know. If you look, see how it has large tires in the back? You can barely see the wheel well. And then this one, small tires. You can see, uh, you can see there's a lot of space around the tire so i'm keeping this one in the package i don't know if it even came on the usa cards with uh, all small wheels so we're, we're opening this one this was the common version there's that intersection again let's check we can pinch this side a little bit it's kind of flared out a little bit little adjustment here he comes made it to the kicker that's about it Redbird marks the spot. Here he comes again. Oh, no kicker loop. No good. 
Let's improve his spot. He was over here. One more time. Oh, a little further. Hey, bud, but we, we don't have all day. You can't go two feet at a time. Nonetheless, he made it around the curve. Redbird, go over there, please. Oh, you can't even make it around the curve either. Can he improve his mark? Nope, that'll do it. Here you have the Toyota off-road truck. Now, I'm not sure how, how he'll do, but once again, we're going to test him. It's not a model that I'd want to send in the boosters because of the wheels. The wheels kind of stick out. No protection from the booster. But I think he fits on the track. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> well, just like the other models that have a metal body that sit kind of higher in the track. Well, sure enough, same with him. He has a metal body that sits higher in the track. Look how, look how tall he is. You can see, un you can see underneath him. I expect the same in the next run. Second chance. Mm, it looks okay this time. Maybe just a little nick right here. Last chance. Hmm. Same spot. Excuse me. There you go. Three cars left. Let's check out the 69 Dodge Coronet Super V. Oh, he made it to the kicker loop. Mark your spot, reset, come back, go. Ah, oh, the dang intersection. This one side, just a little bit. Oh, let me get that plug back in. Okay, here we go. A little better. We get to move you across the road. Hello, who didn't reset the kicker loop? He gets a redo. Ah, uh, not quite. Last chance, just in case he makes it to the second kicker loop. Oh, oh. Let's see, we'll put him right here. Since he got further, uh, one more chance. Go. That's it. You made it all the way around here. Uh, actually, weren't you the one that stayed up on the road? So we're gonna mark you, that would be, uh, hmm, I forgot where he was. Was he, I thought he made it to here. I don't know, I forgot. Here comes Project Speeder. Zoom, zoom, say go. off of the curve. There you go. You're right next to him. You get another chance, though. Go. <laughs> mm, you look familiar. He's got to that spot two times already. He has to improve. There he goes. Oh, a little bit better. And since he did better, we're going to mark him there, and he gets one more try. Here he goes. Nope, oh, that'll be it. Redbird marks the spot. Last but not least, the 77 Pontiac Firebird. He has a metal body. I wonder if he's going to stay on the curves. Go. Oh, I, you heard that, Nick. I know you did. Mm, it looks pretty good this time. Second chance. Again. He keeps getting just a little bit further. This will be his last chance. Dude, you're going to have to hit it just a little bit harder than that. Well, never mind. Your spot was over here. Here's our winner circle for today. Redbird, why are you looking so angry? No. You're not a track car. Besides, everybody went home. Well, that's a fine way to start. I'll put you in gently. Here we go. I'm surprised you made that first loop. 
Since you're top heavy, I really expected you to wipe out on the curve like the other top heavy cars. I'll give you a few tries. Well, even though he's not a track car, he looks like he's angry, but at least he had fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.